Psalms 119 and 94. I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thou testimonies. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And, um, you know, uh, title of this lesson will be The Wicked Have Waited For Me To Destroy Me. And you have Jake, okay, which is, you know, we say Jake short for Jacob, which are the tribes, all right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, you so-called West Indians, you so-called Haitians, Hispanics, Mexicans, all right? The tribes, the Lord is going to destroy two-thirds of his people. You are the Lord's people. And the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of his people. All right. Because you got two thirds of the Lord's people as degenerates, you know, and there's levels of being a degenerate, man. You know, there's levels and being a ninja. Okay. You got levels of ninjas where, you know, they just street bound, hell bound troublemakers you know blasphemers disobedient to parents you got levels of ninjas where they're house niggas they do whatever esau says to do you know they believe in esau's system all right you have these other level of ninjas where they believe they can create a black dollar you know and i could go on you know and i'm pretty sure brothers good even add to that and put the classification of these different ninjas out here man of israel who the lord is going to destroy you know now i was inspired um you know from watching the elder i not and i'll leave his um screenshot in the post-production in the video that i saw earlier where he entitled his video um uh the lord is taking out the trash all right. Yeah. The Lord is taking out the trash, man. See, you have two thirds and you have one third. All right. That one third is who the Lord is going to deliver. And matter of fact, I'll come back to this since I'm quoting that. Let's go into the book of Zechariah. Zechariah 13. Yeah. Verse eight. All right. Eight and nine. Matter of fact, I'll start at seven. It says awake. Zechariah 13 and 7. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd and against the men that is my fellow, saith Yahweh of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. All right, so the two parts is the two thirds. And the third part, and it says the third shall be left therein, meaning the one third. All right. So the Lord is talking about his people. You know, he says, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall scatter. And that's what happened. All right. There is no law with our nation anymore. All right. Our people have become home born slaves, man. You know, degenerates. The worst of all the nations on the earth when we was the greatest of all the nations of the earth all right so smite uh smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered and i will turn my hand upon the little ones verse 8 again and it shall come to pass that in all the land saith yahweh two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein and i will bring the third part through the fire and I will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say Yahweh is my power. All right. So the third part is the elect. And it says they're going to be tried through the fire. And that's twofold. All right. Tried through the fire from uh you know, from the from the hell of this world, 
in this wicked society and this system being tried all right and also tried in the fire for when those nuclear missiles are shot off the lord is going to deliver them through the fire before babylon the great is ultimately destroyed so it says and i will refine them as silver is refined so this is why we got to catch hell because we're being tried man okay we're being purified to be made white we have to see if we the people you know the lord is making sure we're that precious metal of gold man that precious uh gold all right so he says i will find i will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried and that's what you do you you know with gold and silver to see if it's real you put it under the fire all right it says they shall call on my name that's why the name of the lord is very important all right you have different doctrines you have christianity government doctrine okay slavery doctrine all right you have all different types of religion and every religion comes with a name of a power or powers with a s because some religions believe in multiple gods all right but we believe in one power all right and that's yahweh baha shimmy i was shy meaning the father in the name of the son and i don't mean trinity okay because the father and the son is two different entities meaning they're on one accord of the same mind and judgment man just as what just as we all right in the earth are looking to be a part of that one accord that one judgment with yahweh baha shimmy i was shy so it says and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh is my power. Call halal la Yahweh by Shemi Shai, man. All right. And uh, real quick, you know, these are, yeah, let me just get it. Just to prove. Hopefully it's edifying, Lord's willing. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. It says, behold, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. So the Lord is not going to destroy all of Jacob. Okay, that one third he's going to keep to himself. He's going to deliver them. All right. And it says the eyes of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. Now today, what is the greatest sinful kingdom? America. Okay. This is the greatest sinful kingdom on planet earth. He said, I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is shift in a sheaf, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So showing you how Israel is also scattered. All right. So not all Israel is going to come out looking, all right, like an israelite per se looking like the tribes some is going to have they're going to have that 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 look of a heathen all right because why israel been scattered among the heathens as well so certain it's not about the outward appearance it's about the spirit within them so if a so-called uh let's say if a so-called white man of blue eye, blue eyes and blonde hair if he believes in the lord and his lineage go back from his father to being an Israelite, then he an Israelite. It don't matter about this flesh, man. You know, about the outward appearance. It's all about the inward part of man and what the Lord see and what the Lord deals with because it's the spirit. All right. So not, it says, um, and I will shift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is shift in the sheave, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth, meaning none of the elect is going to be left behind. Okay, now verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right. And that's what we're talking about in this lesson. All right. The wicked two thirds, man. All the sinners of the Lord's people shall die by the sword. And what is your modern day sword? The gun. Okay. And plenty other things. All right. Hey, by Esau's tongue, his tongue is a sword, you know. We're, we're, we're by words and proverbs now, man. So he says, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's a prideful Israelite, man, thinking that he's not going to be judged. Or oh, you're going to be judged because you're being judged every day. 
So yeah, the Lord is taking out the trash, man. All right. When you look at every of those incidents with Jake getting put down, you know, like a wild dog in the street, you know, Jake getting put down like a wild dog in the street. You know, it was it was his fault. You know, and no telling what's his backdrop, man. How how this how this ninja was living, you know, how he was living. Typical degenerate, man. The same thing I'm around right now. And the shit pisses me the fuck off, man. You know, I can't stand these niggas, man. You know, can't stand these these ninjas, man. You know, but what could I do about it? Nothing, man. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Man, it got hot today. You know, it's like y'all don't want to rent and go in a different direction. Lord's willing to praise edifying. You know, it's hot today. And 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 all the degenerates done came outside, man. And they lingering outside, man. You know, they're, they're creating, you know, new areas to chill and, and wow out, man. When they wasn't doing that before, you know. And there's always new degenerates, you know, coming out on the streets because every year, you know, they graduate from high school. And when they graduate from high school, where they go? To the streets. You know, they new to the streets. So they gotta do what the what the young dumb niggas do. You know, so they get it out of their system until they get wiped out, man. Anyway, so this is uh, the book of Songs, chapter 119 and 95, okay? So I'm just hit these precepts and I'm going to wrap this thing up. It says, the wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimony. So Esau is waiting. Esau is, is using us against us. This is why it's important, you know, to seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and to change your ways. You know, the scriptures say, 2 Peter, the third chapter, what man of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? It's important. All right. The more you sin, the more judgment come come upon you, man. Or the Lord allow the, your sins to pile up into iniquity and then the Lord drops the hammer on your ass, man. All right. So, yeah, it's a scary thing, man, when we see, you know, Jake getting taken out like that you know you should put fear into you fear your how about shimmy i was shot you know you know the hey you know hey some you know us brothers in this truth we fear as soon as we slip up and go off immediately the lord you know punish us man you know and, and that's that's a good thing you know if you notice that because uh the lord said he chastened the ones he loved man you know so if we slip up and we go off and next thing you know you get a head cold, sick, or something wrong with the car, you know, whatever, man. And it happened immediately because you know you went off. Hey, all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. The Lord said he chastened the ones he loved. All right? He ain't destroying the ones he loved, man. He's chastising them so they could get right, you know? So, the wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thou testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfections, but thou commandment is exceedingly broad. All right. Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. So we have to meditate. All right. In this in this truth, we have to meditate in the laws of the Lord, you know, to keep us safe, to keep us separated from the degenerate two thirds, man. You know, don't render evil for evil. Sometimes we take the low. Well, most of the time we take the, the, the uh, low route, you know. All right, just to not escalate a situation because the Lord gives us wisdom. He gave us wisdom, you know, and we have to move that way. This is why, you know, instead of, you know, you know, the scriptures say be angry, but sin not. So the first thing, you know, you're supposed to do, you know, when you're coming in trouble with a degenerate, a two third, you know, a nigga or a ninja. All right. You, you pray, you pray, call the Lord, man. Call on the Lord. Call on your how about Shimei was shot, man. You know? All right, so let's move on, man. Um, this is in the book of Ephesians. And I'm going to try to speed read this one. But, you know, try to speed read this one. This is Ephesians chapter 6 and 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of Yahweh, 
that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, how do we stand against the wiles of the devil? All right. By meditating in, 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 in the word of the Lord, man. Okay. By putting on the whole armor of Yahweh, which is this word, which is this gospel. All right. Which is the law, statutes and commandments. And you hold it to the best of your ability. You know, you don't want to be judged like these degenerates out here, man. You know, you get pulled over by police, cooperate, man. You know. It says that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, which is the trickery. Esau is bringing trickery, man. All right. He's making you go off. Jake go off by the, 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 the devilish, evilish rap music. All right. The fashion, the, uh, the, 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 how they conduct themselves in this society. All right. The, the abominable foods that they eat. You see, you're being tricked. So that they can destroy you, man. You know, let alone you accepting, you know, their their uh their beast system. Okay? You know, you listening to them and going along what they said to do. What you what they what what they said is right. What did Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai say what was right? We see we're followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not Esau. You know, put on the whole arm of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, man. You know, so now the Lord's will is, is the Lord's will. So it's going to be what it's going to be. You can't really stop or prevent, you know, anything. All we can do is ask for mercy. Let me say that again. You can't really stop and prevent anything, you know, in and, in, you know, in a nutshell, you know, we, we can do, do wisdom by better, by choosing, by, by making the right choice. But the Lord's will is the Lord's will. So all we can really do is ask for mercy. The Lord guide our steps. That's why, you know, uh, brothers, when you pray and, and uh, you pray to ask the Lord to guide your steps in righteousness, you know. So so when you slip, you get back up, you know, and, and your path is 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 uh, in safety, you know. So anyway, uh, verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, these spiritual wickedness in high places, all right, is Esau, all right, with, with all his antennas and his, his serpent poison that he puts out there, the system, okay? You know, the, in even high places where they pray and do these rituals to, and, 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 and uh, they do these rituals to receive this power to destroy you. You know, but these spiritual wickedness in high places have hit the streets. You know, it, it, and it's in the streets. It's in your neighborhood, man. Because Jake is willingly doing wickedly. You know, matter of fact, I think the scriptures say um, they have surpassed the deed of the wicked. The deeds of the wicked, man. So for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, all right? Because when Esau performs their rituals and they conjure demons, well, Jake is doing that right here on the street, man. You know, by by being in, in the mist, in the abyss, you know, bathed in their wickedness, man. When they put them drugs together and the concoctions and they throw it back, then they drink they they you know they drink their, their liquor they smoke their weed and then they pop their pills you know the, the man is a renegade man he's he's an animal he becomes that that legion you know verse 13 wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and have it done all to stand because the evil day is coming and that's Yahweh Basham Yahushua's judgment man so stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness because you're supposed to fear your how by Shemiah shot, not willfully sin, man. It says, and your feet shroud in the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye are able to quench all the, f the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh. Okay, here's the point. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance 
and supplication for all saints. All right. So now let's move on. This is in the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 3. It says, For the ruler are not, for the rulers are not a terror of good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of Yahweh to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So if you do evil, you should be afraid. And that's what's wrong with two thirds of the Lord's people. All right. These Jakes, these two thirds, man, these degenerates, they, they're not afraid of the evil that they do. All right. And it's not only to the to the to the ninjas, but to the but to the bitches, too. OK, to, to these these females as well. All right. It says, for he is the minister of the most high to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. All right. So the Lord belongs the issue of death. You know, and he don't bear the sword in vain. All right. The Lord put that that judgment on you it's a wrap you know and every judgment that come upon these two thirds is, is an example you know for you to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and to do right but Jake don't care they don't look at it like that they just think that they, it's not going to be them but then it's going to be them all right especially when the Lord destroyed this place with thermonuclear destruction all right even before man going through the, the uh, martial law you know Concentration camps, man. But ultimately, that thermonuclear destruction. All right, so let me go into the book of Numbers. This is Numbers chapter 22. And get straight to the point, verse 6. It says, Come now, therefore. All right, this is going into uh, Balaam and Bar uh, Balak. All right. When uh, Israel was standing. You know, outside of uh, of of, of uh, outside in the camps, and he saw them. You know, he was afraid that he was going to be taken down. So this is what he said. He says, "Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people, for they are too mighty for me. Preadventure I shall prevail, that we may smite them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I won't that he whom thou blesses is blessed, and he." Whom thou curses is curse. And the elders of Moab and the elders of the Midian departed with the rewards of the divination in their hand. And they came unto Balaam and spake unto him the words of Balak. And he said unto them, Lodge here this night, and I will bring you word again, as Yahweh shall speak unto me. And the princes of Moab abide with Balaam. And Yahweh came unto Balaam and said, What men are these with thee? And Balaam said unto the Most High, Balak, the son of Z Zippor, king of Moab, have sent unto me, saying, Behold, there is a people come out of Egypt, which covereth the face of the earth. Come now, curse me them, preadventure, I shall be able to overcome them and drive them out. So, he wanted to curse Israel because he was afraid of them. But now peek what the Lord said. It says, And Yahweh said unto Balaam, Thou shalt not go with them. Thou shalt not curse, curse the people, for they are blessed. All right. Why are they blessed? Because they were with the Lord. All right. They was doing right by the Lord. Okay. The Lord just delivered us. The Lord didn't take us to the wilderness to destroy us. All right. So you can't curse, you know, the uh, well, matter of fact, the scriptures say there is no enchantment against the children of Israel. And really, that applies to the elect. You know, when, when um, you got heathens, you got wicked ass Jake that think they could put curses up on us. It backfires. All right. And they don't know this and they don't know these scriptures. That's why they think they could do so. 
just the same as well as um, Balak. Okay, here. It says, Behold, there is a people come out of Egypt which overcame the face of the earth. Come now, curse me them, preadventure. I shall be able to overcome them and drive them out. And Yahweh said unto Balaam, Thou shalt not go with them. Thou shalt not curse the people, for they are blessed. And Balaam rose up in the morning and said unto the prince of Balak, Get you into your land, for the Lord Yahweh refuses to give me leave to go with you. And the princes of Moab rose up and they went unto Balak and said, Balaam refuses to come with us. And Balak sent yet again princes more and more honorable than they. And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus said Balak, the son of Zippor, Let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me, for I will promote thee unto very great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the word of Yahweh my power to do less or more. Now therefore, I pray you, see, and that's a gem. Follow what the Lord said to do. You know, abide in. You know, scripture says in Psalm 91, we want to abide under the shadows of the Almighty. You know? So if we listen to what the Lord said to do, we ain't we're in good good uh good case. All right, we're in a good space. So it says, verse 19, now therefore I pray you, tarry ye also here this night, that I may know what Yahweh will say unto me more. And Yahweh came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee, thou shalt, uh, that shall thou do. And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the prince of Moab. And Yahweh angered was kindled because he went. And the angel of Yahweh stood in the way. All right. So basically that's the point. All right. That's the point. You know, Esau, he waited for us to destroy us. You know, and if Jake, you know, had a head. Uh, if they had a spirit of righteousness in them, they would turn to the Lord and they'd be safe, you know, and they wouldn't fall for the trickeries of Esau, you know. And this is another reason why two thirds is being destroyed because the Lord got them sleep for a reason, all right. The Lord is bringing judgment upon them, and this ain't nothing compared to what's coming, you know. This is really, you know, scriptures say, Who shall rouse him up, you know. Because eventually uh, Esau is not going to be be able to control, you know, what's going on. See, he's controlling everything, but he's going to lose control. This is uh, Psalms 119 and 1. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of, the, of Yahweh. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou has commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. All right. We supposed to keep the precepts of the Lord diligently. This is how we stay safe. All right. Lord's willing. Okay. It says, oh, that my ways are directed to keep my statutes. And, you know, let me say this. You know, you find yourself in trouble and getting hemmed up or caught in a situation is all the will of the Lord. Because eventually, even if you leave behind bars, the Lord Will make a way for you to escape, man. And he proved that through the records of uh, of the of uh, the apostles, man. Okay, in the scriptures, they were released from prison. They prayed. The Lord made a way for them to escape. So no matter if you are in trouble, okay, or you in a situation, by keeping the precepts of the Lord, you're in good case. No matter what, you know. Apostle Paul said that. He said, uh, uh, uh no nakedness, no prevail. All right, nor sword, nor principality shall separate our love from the Lord. So nothing, it don't matter what we go through. But if we keep the precepts diligently, then we're a good case with the Lord, man. And may the Lord deliver us and show mercy. You know, it says, oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy, statu thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart when I shall have learned thou righteous judgments. I will keep thou statues. Oh, forsake me not utterly. All right. So it's all about learning 
the righteous judgments, man. You know, and Jake gets so emotional, you know, when they heard about the seven-year-old getting killed, shot seven times or something like that in Chicago. I believe that was Chicago, you know. But, you know, Jake getting emotional, but they're not looking at the righteous judgment, you know. They don't understand these scriptures. So, but anyway, you know, this lesson is pretty long. <laughs> but, uh, Lord willing, I pray it's edifying, you know. Esau is setting Jake up, man. Let me say this. Esau is setting Jake up. The scriptures say the wicked. Let me go back to that. Psalms 119 and 95. It's right here in the same chapter. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. All right, because Esau is setting you niggas up, man. So they could destroy you left and right. But it's okay because two thirds of the Lord's people is going to get that judgment. All right. They reap what they sow, you know. For whatever they've done in their past life and even in this life. Okay. And uh, ultimately the Lord going to deal with you Edomites. Okay. Because he's setting you up too. You know. You you are the accuser of thy brethren. Alright. You slander if your own mother's son. Okay. So Esau. You know. On the long hold. In the long run. The Lord going to deal with you. You know. You're going to get it even worse. Alright. And the Lord is going to show mercy to Jacob. Because in the kingdom. All right, two thirds, they're going to be good, you know, brought back out his newborn babes and and made in righteousness, never to sin. And they're going to live good, man. You know, so really, at the end of the day, Jacob, you know, we got the better end of the stick, you know, but going through these birth pains, you know, leading up to the destruction and leading up for your Havasha return, you know, we're, 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 we're seeing all these things, man. You know, we're seeing judgment. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.